Good morning. It's May. And today, this week's vlog, what should we talk about? Well, I've been thinking about this a lot, and it's a little scary to share it publicly. Because I feel like, I, you know, we all have those, those voices in our head that said, Oh my gosh, if this is too honest and too much. And then people would leave me. And they wouldn't want to be my clients. They wouldn't want to be my family. My daughter would worry about me. So all of that. But to be honest, um, uh, so the title of, of this week's newsletter is um, I'm Blowing It All Up, right? I was talking to a coach just randomly out of the blue, and, and he was like, well, you're just going to have to like just blow it all up and tell them that you're blowing it all up. And I'm like, okay, I'm blowing it all up. And what am I really blowing up? And then what am I blowing up for? And and where is it going to lead me? So I've been really in this thinking, you know, and also with Keith having cancer and my dad's liver is not good and, and my brother's liver is not good either. And so I'm like looking at death <laughs> oh, wherever I turn. And I'm not one of those people that's afraid of dying, by the way. So I'm, I welcome the conversation. So, so it leads me to this place of asking myself, well, what's next for me? What, what is meaningful for me? What am I living for? I already have an amazing daughter. I got to experience an amazing ride as a mom. Um, I have great love. I've experienced great love. Even with my ex-husband, I had great love. And now with Keith, it's like amazing. Um, I've experienced myself being fully free and reclaiming, you know, parts of me that has been locked up uh, for sexually or emotionally or whatever. And I have been doing, you know, 25 years ago, I had a longing to make a difference in the world and doing great work and reaching people and, um, and ch help change the world. Well, I've been doing that for 25, 24 years now. <laughs> so I've, I help, have helped change over a thousand women's lives. People still come out of the woodwork sometime and send me messages saying, oh my God, you made such an impact in my life, you know, years ago. And I barely remember where we met, you know. And it's not to say that this is not significant to me. It's huge. I, I mean, I kept every single love notes that people have sent me to thank me because I always thought, you know, one day when I'm old, I want to look back and 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 remember where I've been. And so the question for me now is, what's next? What is compelling for me to to live for? And it's a really interesting question. I'm, I'm not going to go and jump off the bridge, so don't send me messages saying don't jump because I'm not. However, I am uh, asking that question. What's the next big thing for me? And does it have to be a big thing? Well, what's compelling to live? Why take up space on this planet? Um, is it to make more money? To be more successful, get bigger out there? I mean, that's the only thing that I could think of, but then I have to ask why. And with more money and more success, bigger thing, it, it just adds more complexity. So I don't know. Um, and what I really want to know is why are you living? What, what keeps you going? What gets you excited? Um, uh, what are you shooting for? Or is it just because... You don't have a choice. I don't know, you know. So anyway, doesn't sound like a very good, inspiring place as a coach to be asking and speaking out loud about this. I have to say that's my judgment. But um, if you know me, you'd know that I ask big questions and I explore deeply into our humanity so that I can really be of service so that I can help make sense out of this whole human journey as we go for a hot life, hot love. <laughs> what does hot really mean? You know, so to me, I've learned that hot means to heal myself, to be open to love and to trust. So I feel like, okay, I've, I've reached that. And now what? And I also play with love, you know, love stood for or, or stands for let love in, uh, overcoming my resistance and uh, 
the Vs and the vulnerability wins. So this is vulnerable at its best for me right now. And last but not least, uh, the E part is end. End all of um, your relationship psychodrama and neediness and all that stuff. And I really think I have been living these things out loud. So uh, what's next for me? And what's yours? What's compelling for you to live for? Namaste. Do send me messages and let me know what your what your answers are to my question. Have a wonderful week. Sending you lots of love. Bye.